Hello and welcomes back everyone, and Wolf here with even more The Witcher. When we last left off, we got very merry with Shani, Zoltan and Dandelion, who was meant to be a companion who saw us pass away. We apparently got killed by a fatal stab in the stomach by a pitchfork, and yet was still alive, unusually. And of course we spent an evening with Shani herself. We're now here in the swamp forest, we've handed over the wolf pelts, and we're on our way to see the druids. So we'll go do that now. Be pretty straightforward. It's the beginning of a new day, so there shouldn't be too many individuals. Oh, the brickmakers are back over here. Interesting. There was a, um, a Vodianoi over there earlier. Recently we celebrated the birth of triplets. A good omen. How much vitality do we actually have? 434. <laughs> So we are getting even more ingredients now, you'll notice. Is that the same from like plants and such as well? Uh, not all of them, okay. Either way, it's not a bad thing. We've used a few of our ingredients, making a few more swallow potions, ready for if and when we need them. What level are we actually? Level 17. There's the lumberjacks. Um, actually, don't we need to speak to Yaren Bolt again once we handed over those... The Beggar Tick pedals? Speak. The ferryman paid me for the herbs. About time. All the same, the bastards. Here's your share. Real pleasure doing business, Witcher. Likewise, Yaren. Speak. Godspeed. We could have kept all the gold for ourselves, but I'm not that much of a dick. We knew what the uh, beggar tick looked like. I suppose if we didn't, we would have learned from him. But it might come to um, it might benefit me later to be friendly. This is an old clearing. So this is the first time we've been this far north. Might as well go see the, the druids. 
see what they have to say. Wind blade. Wind blade. Gwyn Blade. What's that mean? White Wolf. You know me? Your name precedes you. You may know more than me. I remember nothing of my past. Some things are better forgotten. Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for you. Can you help? Sadly, no. Perhaps my sisters from Brokilon could help, but they are far away. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests and thus humans and Dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? Is that a wyvern? Why don't you reach a compromise with the humans? Ha! Huh. You treat concessions as weaknesses and believe acts of goodwill are traps. You will never accept our otherness. So you agree with the elves and dwarves fighting for independence? Those children? They have long forgotten the struggle's meaning, craving blood and revenge, having only contempt for humans. They fail to see they begin to resemble the humans themselves. We merely defend our home, Gwynblade, and have no ambition of driving humans into the sea. I see. What are you doing here? Tis a secret. Though I'm taking the chance to visit this grove of old, beautiful trees. Tell me about your lives. Brokilon is our home, Ithlin our lady. We live in harmony with the forest, flowing through the thickets and knowing the forest's secrets. Are you happy? Like humans, we have joys and sorrows, though our end is near. The war with the humans continues, and our numbers diminish. That's sad. Huge trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the Druid's Grove. Yeah, okay. So that's a dryad then. Yeah, we have wyverns, wolves. All tamed. Circle of unwanted power. Hmm. What is it? Aren't those wyverns? Wyverns, indeed. How did you master them? Tamed them through hard work. I guarantee they're not drugged or their wings clipped. See for yourself. Any accidents? Only the fool who tried to brush a wyvern's teeth. I see. Any other questions? What do you have for sale? Ooh, hello. The Druid's Herbarium. I might be interested in buying that. And the formula of the Maribor Forest. Which increases maximum endurance level. Okay. I could see that being worthwhile as a formula. Uh, nothing else really catches my eye, but I'll sell you some of my food. This book discusses varied plant substances, including hellball, petals, allspice root, wolf's aloe, verbena, mistletoe, and genatia. Okay. And now we have a new formula. This potion significantly increases maximum endurance. Ah, but it's not permanent. It's a long-lasting. I see. That's a shame. So we can speak to the Elder Druid about... ...causing maybe a storm, if possible. Before we do that, we might as well gather some res Gather some ingredients.
some wild wolves in the distance there. Circle of Unwanted Power. What is it? I seek a boy missing from the Brickmaker's village. I've not seen him. The Brickmakers claim you change children into dryads. Fools! Only adults are accepted here. Children would only trouble us. As for dryads, ask them yourself. Farewell. Okay, so they're denying. You have learned the Yerdin symbol, a magical trap that slows down your opponents. When enhanced, Yerdin can also damage and poison and weaken. Hmm, okay. So we have three of the five signs. Let's have a look. What can we do with our uh, Yerdin? Causes pain. Pain sign. Reduces the opponent's ability to attack and dodge. Chances of poisoning. Chances of blinding. Hmm, okay. So, no idea about the missing child. There was someone that... Ah, you. Who are you? You look like an you are an elf. Welcome to the Druid's Grove, traveler. Greetings. Marvelous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Ooh. An elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. What can you tell me about your kind? What makes you elves tick? Hmm. Let us pray beneath the trees, for the trampled heather, for blood that has been shed, for fate that has been destroyed. I'm not sure I'm understanding this. For death inflicted by sword, for the pain of others and our own. I'm looking for witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima where I'm not welcome. As a witcher, you should find little difficulty tending to monsters on the way and avoiding trouble with the guards at the city gates. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Bivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then return his reply to me. I guess I can do that. I'll do it. I'm going to Vizima anyway. Thank you. And a question of payment, maybe? Didn't say. Ah, you could tell the authorities, for example, the guard captain, about Vivaldi's dealings with the squirrels. Hmm. Do I want to do that, though? Hard to say what would be the best. We'll speak to the dryad about a missing child. Guessing if anyone would have seen the child, it would have been her. What, White Wolf? Win Blade. I seek a boy. 
The brickmakers claim druids seized him to transform him into a dryad. Only girls can be dryads. No boys here. Just wanted to make sure. I would show you where young dryads come from, but... Yes? I wish to remain faithful to the Brocolon tradition. We only take in men to procreate and just the strong and agile. We want the girls born of their seed to inherit their father's fortitude. I've been accused of many things, but lack of physical prowess is not among them. I believe you. But the ritual requires a man to prove himself a skilled hunter. Bring me a wolf's pelt. Aren't we infertile? Or the dryads have a way of things? I don't think I have a wolf's pelt on my person. I think I stored the rest of them. No, white-haired one. That is not what I had in mind. Hmm. We can speak to Vaska nonetheless. If we wish to sleep with a dryad, though, we need to kill a wild wolf. What time do we have? Just after noon. Okay. Let us head back to the brick maker's um, housing. to go. Oh. Odd place. Looks like these giants froze mid-motion. Must have been some time ago. This must be probably where the tower is. Maybe the tower's hidden. Oh no, there's the tower. Further southeast. There's a place of power. I don't think we'll... Do we want to turn in the squirrel? I mean... The just will vanish in the depths. And the just will live in underwater castles. I mean, Zoltan is probably Vivaldi's friend. I don't want to really do him in. So... Yeah, okay. The Water Lords and I... The druids didn't take your boy. If I find him, I'll see to his safe return. The boy is gone. A warning to all. We must prepare. Prepare for what? The water lords and I. Farewell. You shall be elevated and your foes vanquished. The world shall humble itself, for who can be above the lords? She's crazy. Okay, back to Vizima we go. Let's 
The voice's appearance is meant to be an ominous sign to the brickmakers. Dadosh is crazy, which is also very likely. Hello, what's up? Good sir. Do you need a boat? You're an unusual sight. This is our territory. Run. I. Uh, fair enough. What do you want? Take me to the other side. Time is money. Made up your mind. Ready to go? I wouldn't have paid you otherwise. Take me to town. Still need to go back and speak to the Elder Druid. About causing a thunderstorm. They may have a task for us as well. Can we re can we read the letter that we've been given? Close this quick save, quick load. Dear Vivaldi, I write to remind you that we once spoke of financial support for our cause. You claimed you would consider the matter one can wait no longer. I repeat for the final time that you are either with us or with the humans. There is no alternative. I see. So he's being pressured by the squirrels. What brings you here? I have a message for you from Yevin. Yevin? I don't need to read it. I know what he wants. Which I know that whether elf, human, or dwarf, they all want the same thing. My distant cousin, Rudolf, is a shepherd. His entire life, he has driven 300 sheep from one place to another. He's the master of their life and death. Somehow I don't envy him. Brilliant response. Return later, after I prepare my answer to Yevin. Everyone's gone mad. I've no time. Return later. I've no time. Later when exactly? Because I kind of want to get your letter and then go straight back. Let's just see if we can pop straight back in. What brings you here? Have you finished your answer to Yavin? Yes, here it is. The elf will surely reward you. Let's hope you're right. Okay. Let's see what is what's been said. Dear Yaven, I will graciously overlook the tone of your letter. Your query was simple, and thus will my answer be. I believe your enterprise will be adolescent and harmful to both elves and dwarfs. To use the language of finances, I cannot extend credit towards its pursuit. To use your boy's language, I have naught and shall give not. And what is more, I would not give even if I had any. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, 
So we burned through quite a few of our Orans while in a druid's grove, but hopefully it was worthwhile just to get another herb book. And we learned a new formula. But back across once more. Like the look of me. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind. Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Ah, back to the druid's grove. Grove we go. Ah, where would we find the boy? He's probably in the swamp forest somewhere. But it might mean exploring all over the place once again. Could be even in a cave. I suppose we should head towards the cave anyway to see if we can find any more of those Enchinops. Try and complete that contract. Also, there might be some more wolves back in the cave. Is there. I could also go talk to Gramps as well. He might know about where the mo where the boy is missing. Uh, yeah, actually, let's we'll do that first. Good sir, do you need a boat? The water seems. Oh, oh no, we've met, we've encountered this corpse before. And there's the beggar tick once again. I think that's where we got the pedals last time. Let's go grab some more. What do you want, son? Just looking around. If you must. No, nothing. Okay. It's worth a try. Would have been the first place I would have checked from the village. So we now want to head down to this campfire. Probably means we probably had to fight more of the drowned, but. Get us a little bit of experience on the way, and there might be some more ingredients we can harvest en route. Mm 
come on. Stuck there for a moment. Definitely needed to kill one of you. Handy. Let's pop in here just in case the the missing child did make their way back into the cave. Well, make their way into the cave. Plenty of remains, but we'll pick them up afterwards. Got the wrong sword out. was worth consideration that the boy might have fell down here and got eaten by the wolves. And we get a wolf pelt anyway if we want to sleep with a dryad. Oh, hello. Is there anything? This was just a dead end, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, nothing down there. Fair enough. One of the lumberjacks may have encountered the boy. Maybe he wanted to become a lumberjack instead. That's, uh, that's possible. Wonder if any more entry ups may, may have appeared here. So we need to go back to Fazima anyway. 
at some point to hand over the rootstock to the gardeners. What time do we have? Four o'clock in the afternoon? Speak. Godspeed. Uh, no sign of the child there then, but well, we don't have the opportunity to ask him about it. The only place we haven't really explored is around the tower now. Oh, what the... Is this the Order of the Flaming Rose? What are they doing here? Siegfried, what are you up to? Siegfried? What are you doing? What's this? Ow! Oh, Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. What happened? An Echinops thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honor and responsibility. Don't get excited, Siegfried. We truly need your assistance. Wait here. I'll look around. The Golem Burial Ground. We have to see that to the east, haven't we? <sighs> Anyhow, so let's take the reply to the elf here. Where is he again? Hmm. Is he going to be at this Golem Burial Ground? I bet he is. I wish to return. What, White Wolf? Oh, mm. it's pushing her out of the way, because we can. Wind Blade. Farewell. Oh well, guess we can't sleep with her anymore. That was going to be the end of the video. Looks like we may have missed the opportunity. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Anyhow. Let us see now. We have the engine ops contract. We need to go to Vizima about that. Yeah. He's definitely not here, is he? Hmm. Golem Cemetery. Yeah, we'll break this video then. A non- Okay, there's a non-human camp up there. Yeah. We'll break the video and when we come back we'll continue searching the swamp forest, shall we? Ah, we're going to be forced to take a side again. Bugger. <laughs> this, of course, has been Anne Wolf playing The Witcher. Feel free to comment if you so wish. I'll see you all next time. Until then, though, bye-bye now.